A certain immigrant, new to the town, attended a neighborhood church for years without making any new acquaintances. As soon as the service was over, worshipers would gather in their same familiar groups and exchange pleasantries with old friends. Nobody ever seemed to notice him. So one day, he decides to go to church with a baseball cap. As soon as he gets in, took his lonely seat at the back of the church, the usher comes up to him and says, you know, we don't wear baseball caps in church here. Thanks, he said. And then he went on. During communion, he goes up, and the deacon pulls him aside and gently says to him, you know, my brother, wearing of caps is forbidden in the church. Thanks, he says, but doesn't take off his cap. After service, the priest who's shaking hands with worshipers greets him very well for the first time and then courteously adds, You know, my friend, wearing of caps isn't allowed in church. I know, says the man, but I've been coming to church for two years now and no one ever noticed me until I wore the baseball cap. Isn't it interesting that everyone who addressed that young man that day addressed him as brother or friend? But the poor man was dying of loneliness, if you will, in a crowd of brothers and sisters. It is not enough for us as Christians who worship together to call ourselves brothers and sisters in name. We need to show ourselves to be friends in what we do.